Graduates of Knoxville College coming together today to celebrate their history while looking onto the college's future. College trustees inviting a historic preservation planner from the East Tennessee Development District to tour their campus. With her help, they hope to add more buildings on campus to the National Registry of Historic Places. Yeah, the campus itself is already on that registry, but each building is not. For a building to be on it, it has to be at least 50 years old. If their application is approved, it would make 11 additional buildings eligible for grant funding. New at 5, as WATE reporter Blake Stevens shows us, the campus tour brought back a lot of memories for some. So it's about service during my time here. How can we make a difference to impact the community of Knoxville and beyond as black students? C. Virginia Clark Fields is one of thousands of graduates of Knoxville College. While the campus, its classrooms, and most of its dorms are overgrown today, the memories from here are overflowing. Reverend James Reese is 95 today and still remembers his first day of class here in 1942. It had a particular mission, one that was grounded in the religious life of the United Presbyterian Church, but also in the, grounded in the life of the area in which it was founded. It also played a crucial role in the civil rights movement in East Tennessee and in the lives of many African American students. It was the only college for African Americans within 150 miles in any direction. As these graduates can tell you, the learning here changed generations forever. I felt very comfortable building on what had been established by my uh, students, my students who had been here formerly. Felt comfortable going downtown, knowing that I could sit anywhere, go to any movie, daring anybody <laughs> to say you can't be there. Hollowed ground where activism and learning became one. In Knoxville, Blake Stevens, WATE, six on your side. Oh, and a building on the National Registry of Historic Places can be considered for a historic preservation fund grant through the uh, Tennessee Historical Commission. It's a 60-40 match grant. Yeah, you know, but, uh, you know, being on the registry makes the college now eligible for a wide range of other grants. Of course, we'll keep you posted on how things progress. Yes.